It's just one game, but are the Clippers winning at all? No, 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 no. Okay, I'm kidding. But, <laughs> but yo, Paul George looked really good last night. I'm not going to lie. Um, if you guys missed it, Clippers beat the Lakers. I think it was by seven. But it, it was only down by seven. It was only seven because they really stopped trying at, at, in the last, like, five minutes. I mean, the Clippers pretty much annihilated the Lakers. But it doesn't really mean too much to me, in my opinion. Like, you can obviously take some good and bad. But when LeBron James only plays, like, 28 minutes, it's nothing that can, like, determine a playoff series or anything. Like, this game, it really shows some good parts. Like, l let me tell you some good about the Lakers. Um, the schroeder Harold pick and roll is amazing. Um, I mean... That's really all, like, they're actually, well, for the Lakers specifically, there wasn't really much. Actually, I will say one thing for a negative. Marcus All, and I, I already kind of knew this before, like, I, as soon as the Lakers picked him up, I kind of knew this. Marcus All isn't that good. Like, the way the, the Lakers were, like, were just, they, they, they were acting like he was in his prime. Marcus All, I think, in my opinion, is just terrible now. And Harrell is so much better. Even, like, let's say... Zubach. Zubach, for what he does for his role, is a lot better of a center than Marcus Hall because Marcus Hall is kind of like a stretch, but he doesn't shoot the ball very well. And Marcus Hall is a defending center, but he doesn't play defense that well. It's, it's like he's just washed up of all his skills from the past. So I don't really see it. Like, honestly, in, I, in my last video, go check it out. I reviewed like the Warriors and Nets game, and I was bashing James Wiseman. But I'd much rather have a right now James Wiseman than right now Marcus Hall because Marcus Hall just. He's just too slow for the state's NBA when there's centers like Montrez Harrell, the centers like even Serge Ibaka, who, if you're a stretch center, you got to be able to shoot. And Serge Ibaka can really stretch that five, you know, like like a Brook Lopez. He just, Marcus Hall isn't really none of those. And he's kind of, as he gets older, he's, he's been getting weaker. I just really think they could have gotten a better center out there. I think there might even still be centers out, out there in free agency that are better than Marcus Hall. I think this win means a lot more for the Clippers than if the Lakers really won it because okay so for one um Marcus Morris was out he didn't play I'm pretty sure he has an injury right now and Nicholas Batum swapped in and played just as good as him which means like honestly I don't, I don't know why Marcus Morris was playing so good for the Knicks he was averaging like 16 a game but Marcus Morris just I I don't know what happened to him like he's just he's been playing a lot worse and then also um another take I have for this game is Paul George like you gotta, you guys gotta realize as much as, as as good as the Lakers can play, even if LeBron did play more minutes, when a player is on, he is on, and that was Paul George. Paul George was attacking the what should have been Defensive Player of the Year uh, last year, and that was Anthony Davis. Paul George was just attacking him. He was attacking any defender in sight, and he he was just he was just knocking out buckets. At the end of the day, you can have the best defensive team in the league, but when when a player is making shots like that, you really can't do anything, and it really makes me think to what Paul George said about Doc Rivers and how Doc Rivers apparently played Paul George like JJ Redick. I wasn't really believing it at first. I thought it was like a lot of excuses. And this is just one game. Like, I, I don't know. It's probably an overreaction, but and I'm not like 100% believing it. But is that the case? Was, was Doc Rivers playing Paul George wrong? And if that's the case, how is Doc Rivers going to play the 76ers? Is he going to do anything? That, that, that's a topic for a whole nother. I might make a video on that tomorrow, but I don't know. He looked good. Ibaka. Ibaka looks like the perfect center. Like, for Paul George to attack, Beverly's not... Be, like, Beverly can attack the rim decently see what uh, decently well. Kawhi, you know, even though I, I saw his box score and it looked awful, he was shooting like 35%. But from what I saw, he was attacking the mid-range where he wants to go. And when you have a center that can stretch the five like that, it is so much easier to get that mid-range off. Last real thought from that from this game, and it's really that the Luke Kennard extension, uh, I'm pretty sure yesterday or a couple days ago, uh, Luke Kennard was extended to like 16 or 18 million or something like that. Something just completely expensive. And for how he played today, I mean, it's, it's just one game. And honestly, I, I, I'm not going to lie. Luke Kennard had some really good looks. And just sometimes the three-point uh, shots just don't hit. So, I mean, I'm not going to blame him too much. But if he actually starts hitting those open threes that he was given, they, they, the Clippers might actually have a team. Like, in my predictions, I had the Clipper, I had the Lakers in number one seed. And then two and three Blazers Nuggets, and I had the Clippers as the fourth. I thought that their chemistry would just be completely over with, but seeing how, I mean, we could have another. That this is just one game, but we could have another MVPG season because Tyron Lue is just letting the star player do what the star player wants. You know, in with the Cavs, Tyron Lue just let LeBron do LeBron. Maybe he's just letting Paul George do Paul George, and if Paul George just ends up having a breakout season, a revenge season, I mean, so far this season. 
Paul George has not really been talking too much. And, and like he he's been talking, you know, he made that excuse with Doc Rivers and all, but he hasn't really made like a like we're winning it all kind of like flex or anything. So I really think that if he just keeps his mouth shut and plays basketball, he might just mess around and the Clippers could go to the finals. You, you never really know. I mean, only time will tell. Like it's just one game, but they looked really nice. Like I might have underestimated them. But uh, that's going to be the end of the video. So if you guys enjoyed, uh, subscribe, like. If you missed it, I made a video on the Nets and Warriors. And uh, that'll be all. Peace.